So today we're going into um, look at New Brighton in the 70s. Um, I mean, quite a bit of it has changed in the last 40, 50 years, uh, even a bit longer than that. So let's jump in there and see what we can find. Uh, so there's a modern day map. Let's um, bring up the other layer of the old map on it. Um, so the first thing we thought we should um, spring to mind is the right here. Um, football pitch and a track around the outside now this was the home to New Brighton Football Club um, they've since moved to over Harrison Driveway I think um, but there's two things here there's the football club and the tower grounds but we'll come to the tower grounds in a minute so there's a the football club now the track around the outside of it um, was used for banger racing um, in fact, here's a here's a picture of the um, actual banger racing going on. And this was on this track, um, and a, a bit like a greyhound track around the football pitch, which used to be uh, a more common thing. Uh, New Brighton had it as well, but uh, let's see what there is there today, because today... Uh, there's a relatively modern... Um, Housing estate. I'm not sure exactly when this was um, built. Anyone might be able to tell us, but its main part of it is Molyneux Drive. Um, that came that came down from Rosen Street um, or Seabank Road, whichever one you look at. And then this was added on um, later. And if we swipe over, so really the the curve in the road roughly matches the curve of the track and anything inside of that is the um football pitch in fact if you if you were here on rakerfield road you'd be basically at the center spot of the football pitch uh which is kind of bizarre um let's go in on google maps and have a look okay so here's the same thing on google maps um so yeah, so what we figured out, so here about here on Rakersfield Road is the centre spot. Let's have a look. Let's put the little man down onto Street View. And here it is. Welcome to the centre spot of the um, old New Brighton Football Club. This is what it looks like today. In fact, see that manhole cover? That is the centre spot. Only kidding. But it's not far off, to be honest. Um, yeah, so there we are with that. Now... Another thing we noticed on here, um, New Tower Court. There's New Tower Court, called New Tower because um, up here was the Tower Grounds. Uh, this is where New Brighton Tower was. Um, here's a picture of it, picture of New Brighton Tower. Um, people can tell us when the, it bent down several times, but the last time was 60s early 70s not sure when um someone will be able to tell me i uh, put your answer down below send us a postcard um but in the 70s yeah so in the 70s obviously here they are on the, on the picture of it it was no longer um but that is the location of it in fact look here you've got that figure eight this is the part of the fun fair that was there so the track was still there um in um in the 78 so we've we, uh, we, we've recently been down there actually and we've got a little bit of film of a film we're doing for another video um project where we're in exactly that same place um yeah so there it is there see that bank um up on the top of the hill there was the um was the tower but that bank is where that figure of eight is Um, and then going across here, we have uh, New Brighton Pier. Uh, this is very popular for ferries, for people came, coming from Liverpool who came to the Wirral Peninsula, um, usually for a holiday day out. New Brighton was very, very popular. They got the ferry over, got off on the pier here, this the um, ferry terminal there, and walked on to the, um, the promenade. Uh, which is, in fact, the longest promenade in the country. 
Um, we've got a video on that. Um, we did it a few years ago. I'll link that down below. So go and take a look at the longest promenade in the country. Um, and here's a bit of video of what's left of the pier now. Um, yeah, there it is. It's an awful lot shorter. So there's just a mere stub sticking out with the actual... And, and there's the length of the full length pier. It's quite a bit of a difference there. Um, moving round, the funfair here, and the funfair is pretty much the same, almost. Of course, the bowling alley may be different. The floor pavilion has now changed. Obviously, that is a new building. Um, over here, Fort Pitt Rocks is exactly the same. Lighthouse over there is exactly the same. And the um, the boating lake. Now, one of the biggest changes in New Brighton was over here. Um, there's the modern map. All of this area here is much more modernised. Um, now have a Morrison's Home Bargains. There's a the cinema there. There's a travel lodge there. Um, restaurants there. All sorts of things. And of course, back then was the baths. Um, I'll put a little bit of I've got a little bit of black and white footage here of the swimming baths. I think this was from the 1930s. Um, that's what it was like in the in the 30s. Very popular, very cold, but the sort of amphitheatre kind of surroundings in there um, kept the sea wind off. So on a sunny summer's day, it was actually quite warm in there, even though the water was a bit cold. Uh, this was damaged in 90, uh, uh, 1990. Is that right? The storm of 1990, it was damaged where it finally had to be brought down. Um, but there is the modern day map. Let's look at it on Google Maps again. There we go. There's the same area on Google Maps with the shopping here, um, the marine lake and the restaurants. Um, let's put us down on the roundabout and we can have a quick look. Yeah, I see it's much more modernised. There's the cinema there. Morrison's entrance. Uh, restaurants. See how popular it's it's become. New Brighton was very much run down, certainly from the 80s onwards. And since all this new development, it's really had a big pickup. And it's very popular on a summer's day again. These tennis courts have always been there. But if we were to go down here. Yeah, now here's Morrison's. Uh, and here is a picture of the um, of looking at the same place of the um, of the baths, New Brighton baths. Um, what a difference that has made! Uh, so moving on to the side, the tennis courts are no longer there because now they have the uh, miniature golf course. Um, Yeah, this is where the tennis courts used to be. Um, they have the miniature golf course. Well worth a visit. Not sponsored. Um, but the this golf section here is famous holes um, in the world of golf courses. Famous holes on golf courses is miniaturized for um, miniature golf. And this one here is all world themed um, holes. Every hole has something to do with the Wirral or a landmark on the Wirral. There's 18 of them. Um, a few I can pinpoint out because I have played this myself. Is This is this is um, New Brighton and the beach. Uh, there's a tunnel there. You put through the tunnel. Uh, a light at the lighthouse here. Um, Lady Lever Art Gallery. Fort Pitt Rock is here. Um, Thor's Stone is somewhere in Thurston. There's, I think that black tarmac strip there represents a tramway. Um, these three down here represent the New Brighton Dips, um, which if we zoom out, is dip, dip and dip. Um, uh, well worth a visit and it's a very popular attraction. Again, not sponsored. Um, but it has massively changed. Even see the walkway here. Uh, this is a great um, addition to the promenade. Um, 
where you can walk down um uh which which never used to be there if it well, was there but it's very uh narrow um incidentally this was the scene of a one of the little um um intro um bits for channel four you may have seen it um where the big channel four metal i don't know what it's called the metal number four that's running along um some people are doing wheelchair racing i put a quick clip of it now um if you've seen that on the tv on channel four then that's exactly where it was filmed along in fraser walk along the top there So that's our look at New Brighton in the 70s and you can see how much it's changed. Um, this was just after its heyday of the 60s and the 50s and before it started its decline and it really has boosted back up again up um, into the 2010s, 2020s. And a quick mention just before we finish is the outdoor artwork. Um, we've got a video of an interview with a guy who's, who's um, really helped bring this artwork. It's just down here, the pub just on the corner here. Yeah, the street art and things like that. But this is going to be the largest uh, free open air street gallery, street art gallery in the country. So we've got about 28 murals at the moment, and we're adding more and more every month. So and these are some of the most acclaimed artists from around the world, as well as some local ones. Made famous by him renaming the pub during the pandemic with reference to Mr. Boris Johnson, etc., etc. It's quite amusing. Uh, go and check that out and get a T-shirt. Um, so that's all for now. We'll see you next time.